Hey guys, ask Singaporeans kind. On the 20th of May, of May, it was a Singapore kindness movement. And I want to know if Singaporeans are truly kind, and we're going to put that to the test with some social experiments. And to help out with these social experiments, I brought along some friends. And we have JJ, Noel, and Megan. Monkey. So today, we'll be doing two different social experiments. The first being, Megan will be playing the part of a blind person lost in the MRT. And we want to know how long it would take for anyone, if anyone, to help her out. During the experiment, uh, there were some points where I thought that no one would help her. When she first walked out of the MRT, she was wandering around for a while and no one really helped her. But there was this lady that she actually wanted to get onto the train that was at the station. But she just let the train go and help me then. So I thought it was very nice. Do you want to go in the train? Uh, I, I want to go um, exit, exit. Exit B. I think what's cool is that for every take that we did, there was always one person that would approach Megan and like, offer their help. Okay. Okay, you step. Okay, I scan you go out. Ah. Okay. okay, you can go out. Then I pass you your card. Thank you so much. Where are you going? Um, I'm going to uh, exit B. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, okay, thank you so much. Step on my, 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 Oh, you wait here, Papa. Papa, come visit. You wait here. Uh, we're going on the escalator. Oh, so um, okay, okay. Um, I'm going to exit B. Uh, actually, what was really heartwarming was one of the staff members. So, apparently, she was a part-timer there and she wasn't very familiar with MIT. But despite all that, she still helped me get, get to the top of the escalator. And it was honestly very nice of her. The bus stop, is it? Um, until the escalator already can, cause uh, cause my friend waiting for me there. I think I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait here for he, for for them uh, lah. Here, here. Yeah, he's 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 here to wait for me here. So it's okay, eh? It's okay. okay Thank you. It was quite an experience because throughout three takes, some um, people just helped me throughout, and um, it was quite hard moment to say the least. Hello, friend. I was supposed to meet. Hi. Hello. Monkey. So for personal experiences, there are many places in Singapore which I cannot access. But usually these are not places that I go for necessity, but more like want. And the second experiment, I as a, a young man looking for a job, will be in front of a wheelchair inaccessible building. And we're going to see if anyone is willing to help me up the flight of stairs. Excuse me, do you know if there's a ramp into this building? When we finally got people's attention, oh, yes, the first thing they did was to approach the security guard. There's no ramp, only the, the loading bay. Because it's his job, he had to tell them, oh, there's a cargo loading area behind, there is a way to enter through there. The only ramp that we have is at the loading bay. So we couldn't really do the experiment correctly, it was just going around the experiment. Final round. Okay, the things that they didn't offer help, none of them offered to help. It was more like either Megan or I asked for help before they talked to us about it. Uh, as one slope behind. But I have to credit um, a group of girls. Um, they actually went out of their way to go look, physically look for a ram. They have gone to finding slopes. We were about to lose all hope. But then, 
this happened. Thank you. Oh. So, I'm actually happy about this. Better than the results are better than I expected. The first thing you think of is to straight to go find a ramp there because I think that's an easier option. It's still hard when you know that people try to help. I think it's not more of convenience. I think people usually don't help because they shy. They don't know the standard operating procedure is like when they want to approach like for example blind men or, or people in need. I think we should all shouldn't be afraid of like judgement la, and like put ourselves in their position. <laughs> and if you were them, how would you feel? You will probably want people to help you also. Okay, the thought of kindness can really brighten someone's day. So I should just help people. Actually, I agree with that. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it for today's video. Right, we have, we can, I want to say thank you to my three friends here, right, they already helped out with the social experiments, it was kind of fun, I mean the weather was soldering hot, but it's okay, we are, we, we enjoyed most of it, so with that say goodbye. Bye. Wearing a black scarf is no joke when it's hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs>